hello, hello, YouTube, DTube, BitChute, and Library. You can also find us when we're live on DLive, Twitch, and YouTube. And on MindsGab, Twitter, and Mastodon. I'm Jay, and you're watching DS Tech Media, and today we are going to be talking about alternative tech platforms for video and social media and specifically we're going to be talking about minds around two months ago i realized a couple of things the first was that i needed to create social media accounts for uh, ds tech media if i wanted to grow my subscribers or viewers and then i realized that youtube's algorithm change had severely affected my views and then i needed to expand to other platforms one of those platforms that I first switched to was Minds, and I was asking people to please subscribe, and I said that I was open to requests if you wanted me to deep dive or tutorial something. And Mr. Bill Ottman, the CEO and co-founder of Minds, said my tutorial and I told him consider it done. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to start by looking at the Minds white paper. So Minds is the crypto social network abstract. We are an open source decentralized social networking platform where users are rewarded with Minds tokens for contributing to the community. Our goal is to build a new model for content creators that take back their internet freedom, revenue, and social reach. There's a crisis occurring in the social networking world. Surveillance, algorithm manipulation, and censorship are affecting, infecting the web at an unprecedented, unprecedented levels. For the first time in history, millions of users are abandoning traditional centralized social apps in favor of freedom-based alternatives. Alongside this mass migration, blockchain technology and other decentralized solutions are rapidly entering the mainstream. The fusion of crypto and social applications is both inevitable and essential to the continued healthy evolution of the social media and the internet itself. The purpose of this paper is to provide an overview of minds, a leader in the mass internet migration and free software movement, and to introduce the minds token and ERC20 to utility token that will be issued on the Ethereum blockchain. In the Minds contribution economy, users and developers will be rewarded for a variety of contributions to the network, including generating high quality content, account setup and verification, referring new users, maintaining an active channel, finding bugs, successfully submitting code, more tokenized rewards, provide the key incentive to help foster a richer and more rewarding user experience and the growth and long-term sustainability of the network. Minds tokens will immediately be usable upon receipt on day one. They will be required for use of the application through immediate integration into Boost, a transparent and blockchain-based ad network, and Wire, the Minds peer-to-peer -peer payment system. Both Boost and Wire will leverage smart contracts to enable the autonomous exchange of digital media and services for crypto tokens. Boost is basically a way of advertising. Each uh, user, of course, has a channel and a wallet. Wiring is a form of user-to-user -user payment. There's an integrated messenger, much like Facebook. You can create blogs. Each user has a, a curated news feed. Each user can also subscribe to groups, and each user can post video and images. So users may exchange points to boost their content and receive guaranteed views from the network. One point is one view. Users may wire points directly to other channels as a tip or to pay for a premium subscription to exclusive content and unlock rewards. The Minds Token. For the past three years, Points successfully fueled the Minds Network and established the foundation for a rewards-based ecosystem where top contributors 
earn the most revenue and reach. Mines is building upon this foundation by leveraging blockchain technology to replace points with Mines tokens. The Mines token is a social networking utility built upon the Ethereum ERC20 standard. Mines chose to issue its tokens on the Ethereum network because it's the leading open source general purpose blockchain optimized for smart contracts. It includes sophisticated web tools to develop a user-friendly experience and has established broad credibility through market experience with mobile payments, distributed exchanges, cryptocurrencies, and enterprise blockchain solutions. Mines tokens will be used to deliver services on mines including boost wire and smart contracts that are cryptographically secure, transparent, as the contract terms may be verified and audited by anyone. This provides the community with the true peer-to-peer -peer decentralized token that enables autonomous and independent relationships between creators, supporters, and advertisers. Alright, let's skip forward. Abuse of power. Now this is talking about those other social networks, if you know what I mean. And uh, algorithm manipulation, Facebook. Okay, so this is what your uh, wallet page showing your your pluses for contributions. This is what it looks like. And this is the formula, your contribution score divided by the total network score multiplied by the daily reward pool. So the way that I take that is that your contributions are larger if the daily reward pool is larger. To secure a user's off-chain balance and prevent a balance from being spent more than once by multiple transactions, Vines uses a two-phase locking system. Once a user initiates a transaction, their balance is immediately locked with a lightweight transaction. That ensures all nodes in the cluster receive the right. Should a user attempt to initiate another transaction during the lock period, the request will be denied until the lock is released. All off-chain transactions are stored on Mines database for reference with application level immutability. The database uses a replication factor of three, which ensures that the data is maintained on at least three active nodes at any given time. So basically that means that your off-chain crypto, so transactions that are simply happening on Mines and not with uh, actual cryptocurrency are stored in three separate locations on mine server. Now I'm going to show you my mines and give you a little rundown of the entire website. Okay, so this is my mines channel. Over here this is a link to my YouTube, my Twitch, my Twitter, BitChute, DTube, DLive.TV. All of my uh, posts appear here or stuff that I've reposted. Uh, you of course, got your banner across the top. Over here on the right are channels that I've subscribed to. So, Linux. And then of course you can tag your channel, Ubuntu, Technology, Open Source, Linux, OS, uh, Rewards. This is basically putting out your paying tokens for requests. My images, uh, my blogs. So this is a blog that I created about me making videos using Linux. Got the uh, Minds Messenger, very much like Facebook Messenger, appears as a little pop-up here. 
and uh, here's my feed you can of course like or dislike you can wire which is paying someone for their contribution you can remind which uh, basically reposts their contribution and of course you can comment and add the images or various files you've got your discovery queue and then there is your wallet and this is my current token count I've of course uh, transferred some into ethereum prior to this you can buy ethereum from here can view your transactions this explains to you how the token works your notifications will appear here you got all tags comments subscriptions votes and reminds and the the overall function uh, is is definitely meant to uh, mimic Facebook they keep it as familiar as possible there's also a dark mode uh, this is the boost console where you can boost your posts to ensure that you get more eyes on your posts you can also pin them to the top of your channel translate them edit share translate delete unfollow so that is explicit that's the basic deal next I'm gonna show you mines on Android so you can get the mines app directly so you can get the from the app. Google Play Store directly from the Google Play Store and it works much the same way all the functionality is the same and it works much the we same can the write comments, same. we can upvote or downvote, we can attach from our gallery, we have a messenger tab, all of our notifications are here, here. we can search by blogs, groups, we can videos search by blogs groups channels or all channels or all. and we of course can bring up uh, all of our wallet information and we of course can bring up uh, all of our and then if we go to the uh, hamburger menu we can view our groups. We can view our groups. And we can of course look at all the blogs. Like I, I have one blog here. We can of course. Oh, there it is. We have our boost console and of course clicking on the center part will bring up my feed. My feed. And this is a picture screen capture from my phone from a video that I am making entirely with Android it will literally never leave my phone before I upload it to YouTube, BitChute, DTube, and Library but uh, please 
subscribe to me on mines if you sign up subscribe to me and you can find me at mines.com slash ds tech all one word well anyway i hope you learned something i hope i may have inspired you to check out mines i'll probably do dtube and steam it next um, i have other videos in the pipeline like uh, Inferno OS. I'm going to be testing that out. If you don't know what Inferno OS is, then please subscribe and look for my video. I'm also going to be making one, hopefully, about Cubes OS, which is the security based Linux distribution. And I'm still working on my video about doing productions like these using nothing but Android. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm working real hard and trying to put out good content. If you like this, let me know. If you didn't, let me know why you hated it. I'm Jay, and thanks for watching DS Tech Media, and we'll see you in the next one.